That that's him. That's him. And do we that get up? shit. Oh. What's up, Wasteland Wonders? Today we have a brand new video for you. A brand new demo for Suffer the Night. This includes the whole first chapter. I don't know a whole lot about the company that made it. Um, also, I have with me today the CEO of Zodiac Esports, JT. JT, say hello to the lovely people. What's up, peeps? And he wanted to watch me play this, so I figured I would let him sit in a day. And that, that being said, let's get right into it. <gasps> oh, Jesus, that's loud. I'm gonna have to turn that down a bit. So I'm just getting my headset down a bit. Oh, I must have dozed off. Jeez, this I was gonna say, I really like the lettering they used for the Suffer the Night font. Hopefully my keyboard don't start auto walk like it did the last time I tried to record this. Wait, go back to those posters? I thought I saw the Homeland poster over there. Homeland? Yeah, Homelander. Uh ah, uh, it just looks like him. That one in the that little gray black and white picture in the middle. Uh Van Hoover, I bet I bet that poster was like a like an alternate dimension for uh Greta Van Fleet. Got yeah, fucking Pennywise when they push the guitar over here. Tap on, tap off. The clapper. Don't need to use the phone right now. Probably get a little bit of light up. Okay. So, kind of figured based off of fishnets that our character was either a rocker, well, it's obvious with the posters, or, you know, just one of these current modern day trying to fit in wannabe emo goth girls. Oh, I was wrong. I would. So when I booted this up the last time and my keyboard was all wonky, I thought this was an electric guitar. It's actually a bass. Purge about to commence. All this criminal activity is legal for the next 12 hours. The county of Sleepy Woods Mountains has issued a severe lighting storm warning and is suggesting residents stay inside. The National Weather Institute is saying this is a Category 2 storm that sustained winds ranging from 74 to 87 miles per hour and should last all through the evening into tomorrow night. Lowing has struck multiple transformers, causing power outages in some areas. If your power is out or goes out, do not be allowed. KW357 will continue to follow the storm as it develops. Check back at the top of every hour for updates. Thank you. Okay, top of the hour for updates. And... Storm has blown several transformers, but Optimus Prime is happy. I'm really hungry. Some eggs and toast sound good. Cover art, I think. Coffee to wake me up. Tornado of Souls. Ah, that's music based. Tornado of Souls and Megadeth Song. Okay, so it's blown several transformers in the area, but it hasn't blown a transformer for our house yet. Looks like. What well, lies below? Yes, good to know. Right up here for the book, House of Grave. Written by Ed Gray Perry instead of Edgar Allan Poe. The Deadlights. <coughs> so that's supposed to be like it based, but that thing looks nothing like anyways. I thought Cthulhu was bigger than that, though. Oh, we're a painter, too. Awesome. Uh, no, he's, he's that big. That's how he's depicted in, like, every, um... Every, like, book and, in, in, uh, like, picture. <clears throat> it's always that like he's coming out of the, uh, ocean. That's where he's, like, just chilling. Or it, I should say. Interesting. Why do I have no sprint? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're making breakfast. 
kind of dark out there. I can't tell what time of day it is. It's breakfast, brunch, something like that. You might live in Alaska, hey. 30 days a night thing. Yeah, it'd be. Oh, I forgot to put some clothes in the wash down in the basement. Into the basement, put clothes in the washing machine. Okay. You know, if, if it wasn't for the dark... This is a real life simulator, I think. <laughs> if it wasn't so dark and like creepy looking, this would actually be a really nice house. Look at that. The stairs are beautiful. God. Tripping hazard. Somebody call OSHA. I can't work under these conditions. I still have no sprint, which is kind of weird. But shift is not working. That Oh, I guess if we ever need to run in this game, we're just gonna die. Then oh. I'm still choosing to become a, a master electrician, apparently. Oh, you see that? Yeah. Okay, so your first sign is that you're having an emergency weather broadcast telling everybody to stay inside. And then you see a face on the TV and you get a... The doorbell rings randomly. When did this envelope get This is how every horror movie starts out. Surprise. Who got us the Joker? It's Stacy. Okay, so our name is Stacy. And floppy disk? A floppy disk? Where did this come from? Jesus. There's no one at the door. Oh, now I have Sprint. Jesus, look at her go. <laughs> there we go. They don't even know what a floppy dick is. Did you say floppy dick? A floppy disk. <laughs> I swear, I, it's not I like you said floppy dick. Floppy dick is. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uses a floppy dick anymore. Not since <laughs> Viagra. Uh, okay, press enter to continue. My favorite author. So I do remember when we were messing around upstairs when my keyboard wouldn't work, that the password. It's on the back of this. So ECH space PI space EL. Jesus, I can't type today either. PI Run drive A, run drive B, or shut down. Um, we are going to run. Driveway. We're going to run driveway. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum will fade and now swings. You awaken on cold wet stone. The air is moist. A sickly sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can barely make out your surroundings. It's the commands to get up. You slowly rise to your feet as you do a sharp sting is felt throughout your skull and your vision. Refocuses. You're in a cave or a cavern of some kind. Bright light off in the distance grabs your attention. Go forward, search, or use item. We don't, we don't have any items yet, so we say search. Nothing was found. Okay, so I guess we're going forward. The cliff face lies before you. Light you notice is coming from top must climb to reach it. List of commands. Climb up, go back, search, and use item. Nothing was found. You reach the top, an old metal torch hangs from the wall. This flame flickers and sways as the breeze blows from down the path. The undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. Probably dead bodies. We're just gonna search every room until we find some. You enter a large open mausoleum. 
its chambers empty except surrounded by fresh wax candles, a single dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here. You're right, there is a large wooden double door. Okay, a mausoleum. There's gotta be something if we search, right? You open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea and the gro from the grotesque stench inside is the corpse of a man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots while searching the coffin and body. It's very visual. You notice an old key in one of his hands. Disgustedly feeling back, peeling back each finger from his grim mortis induced hand, you take the key. The key was added to your inventory. Right. So we go right. Two torches light the large wooden door that blocks your way. You try to open it, but it is locked. Okay. This is where we used to be. Use the key to open the door of the path to the right. And the lights are flickering. Okay. Oh, shit. You mind? I'm trying to play a video game here. Turn the corner into another long hallway. Torches light the way along narrow path just as you investigate the surroundings. Gut wrenching scream echoes off the walls towards you. Oh, that's what that was. And here I thought it was just mother when we're drunk away from me. Continuing down the path, come across a small small chamber. The house inside are two small coffins. They have been nailed and fastened shut. Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay urn sits in the corner next to one of the coffins. We're searching that. Check inside the urn, expect to find Ashman. Inside, the light catches a glimmer of something shiny, just like a pack. Reach in and find an antique lighter. A small inscription has been scratched off, perhaps a family heirloom? You apply pressure to spark the wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the whole thing. Surprisingly, it still works. The lighter was out of your own. The to proceed with the path ahead is obscured by the protocols. The lighter alone. Son of a hell was bitch. that? Up. It sounded like an explosion. All the power just went out. An explosion? I think the transformer finally blew. Yeah. It yep, looks like there the transformer it is. Blew. Lightning must have struck it. I need Damn. to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. No worries, we're a master electrician. Yeah. We can fix it. What do we got here? Got any Metallica run EMC? No? Okay. I guess we should go try to Everything fix it. Look like. I forgot to refuel the generator the last time I cleaned it. There's some fuel out back at the boathouse. I should oh, grab God. a flashlight in the garage before I hang outside. Alright, garage. I Wait, think I left garage? the key to the garage in the bathroom the last time I took a shower. That's outside. That's outside too. Okay, so that's the garage. Where is... Stuff, ah, he's in my shower. You know, it's so funny. I was watching Daz two days ago, and he was watching like a uh, toast, like videos where people were haunted and stuff. And one guy had a shower curtain closed, and he goes, If you just leave the shower curtain open, you wouldn't have that problem. We wouldn't have to worry about anything hiding behind it. Well, this proves that that statement is wrong. Yeah, doesn't matter. Open or close. Not to mention the guy just vanished into thin air. <coughs> what the hell was that? Oh, crouch. I can crouch. That's good to know. 
Definitely, if he tries to attack me, I can make like a small toddler. And... Can you just pick up? Uh... Oh, I had to do actual lock. I know. Okay, there's our flashlight. I should head to the boathouse out back. There should be some fuel I can use for the generator there. And you I might need a poncho too. I don't want to go outside, Mom. We have video games now. There's no need for that. The question is, that's the further. Shit, I'll go back so we can go out this way. If not win, I'm gonna get blown away. Now I can refuel the backup generator. I should head back to the basement. Jerry, come on. It's such a weird name for a gas container. You know why they call it a jerry can? Uh uh. Um, because the Germans were the ones that use it, and uh, Jerry is like a slang for a German. Uh, <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. So, I mean, it's probably just yes, this one. I don't want to yeah. trip and break my neck down here in the basement. Now I need to reset the circuit breaker, and that should restore the power. The power should be working now. I should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer. Yeah. yeah. Call on to us. I think we'll probably had an accident. Transformer was blown, it's beautiful oil everywhere. What? There's no signal. The line's dead. Did the storm knock out the phone lines as well? No. Uh, Something weird's going on. Oh, here we go again, another floppy. Again? What the hell is Disc. going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? Oh, God. Mad Hatter, is that you? What do you want? <laughs> The spy glass. Hello? Who's there? Hello, young lady. Oh, My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside to use your phone? No, no. I've heard what you do to people like me, Marilyn Manson. What are you doing all the way out here? Not gonna happen. Are you the one who put the floppy disk through my nail slot? Floppy disk. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. You're you didn't shit. answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? Damn, she's doing all her police work. Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Well, oh, my really? house is the only one you can find the phone off the road because I moved out to the middle of nowhere well, for a reason. Perhaps I can come in to dry off and get out of this storm. Sit in your car. What? What's wrong with his face? Look like under the nose, up by the mouth. So I think he has like a mask on over. His I'm mouth. not in the business of letting That's strangers like. into my home. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. Let these strangers come into your home's business. Oh, yeah. Well, Stacy, I'll find my own way in. <laughs> He'll find his way in? Okay, I'll be seeing myself out then. <laughs> Spyglass, the door is seen. There, I did that. What are you doing, old what man? What the hell is going on? Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Oh. How does that creep know yeah. my name? Look at the rush. Oh, Tainted Pack. That was the stupid thing. So. Cut my power, my phone. Lines. You disconnect my phone. Then lines. Then Son then of a bitch. Them. Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. You sick fuck. Why are you doing this? God. They just skipped right past what he said. I didn't hear him. 
surprised at how little Stacy, but yeah, I saw yeah, it. Yeah, I saw it. But... I want you to finish my game, Stacy. I'll make you a deal. God, here we if go. you finish the What's game, What's your favorite scary movie? I might just leave you alone. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you, leave me alone. I, I have a gun. Uh, I feel like he should have responded to that. Yeah, he just didn't care. Can you play the game? Let me close the door too. Yeah, close door policy. Yeah. Office hours are over. Come back tomorrow. Here we go again. Commands. Go forward, go back. So, using the lighter, a large stairway is being made in front of you. Try to make out what's at the top. It's too dark. I wonder if this game is decision based, like off what you do on the floppy disk. Could be. Use the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make out that the path continues to the right. You enter a spacious room with a large round wooden table at its center. On the table sits a small lock box. Chains surround the box and feed into a skull. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths, one blocked by a large iron cage, the other open. By the way, that uh, the chains in the skull could be a reference to Megadeth as well, because their logo um, is a skull with chains in it, calling Rattlehead. You approach the path on the right, in front of you is another set of double doors. This one is suspicious, or this one suspiciously has one door half open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Actually, uh, let's search. Maybe, if I can type. Really was found. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Okay, now type the data in my life. Attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness. The lighter you illuminate the hallway. I don't know. Check the windows. Every window of this creeper, dude. Did you just ring the doorbell again? I didn't hear it, but... I swear to God, I'm, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and grab a steak knife. Slip as far as through. He's nowhere to be found, but yet the doorbell is ringing. Either that or I'm hearing. I yeah, I think you're hearing things because I can't hear the doorbell. I hear like a ticking sound every now and again, but not a doorbell. Yeah, that's when I go near the clock. Alright, well, if you need me. Oh god, here we go. Auto walk. <laughs> yeah. No! No! I uninstalled Armory Crate and my keyboard's been working fine. Alright, if you need me, you know where not to find me. Uh, continuing down the dark hallway, you slip across a monster site. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, shackled to some kind of torture device. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into a 
Oh. God. Sounds like, you know what that sounds like? It sounds like, um, Hellraiser. Hmm. You remember the guy that had the machine where it was like, it would mess with his nerves? Yeah. The side of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes from the man's abdomen, but it's lodged too deep to make out. The hallway continues straight. We are surging in this guy's guts. Reach up and approach no, that abdomen. Up through the chest cavity as. What the fuck is that, bro? Get up. That's the radio. I don't know. Was that a reflection? Was that actually something that No, went no, no. That was something that went past the window. Because if it was a reflection, I'm standing here. It would still be here. Yeah, this game is taking a very dark turn, and I don't like it. Reach up into the corpse's abdomen and up through its chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the corpse and splatter on the ground. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and pull it out. It's a strange leaf made of bone, and the top of the skull has been carved. The skull key was out of your Some signs of life, we see nothing except for the moon. A gibbet cage is off to your left. Behind it, path continues. Um, left, I guess. After turning the corner, you come to a dead end. An enormous brazier sits between the two pillars. Two metal rings rise from the top. Wax candles attached all around. The gust blows past, but its source is not apparent. Yeah, because the place is freaking haunted. If you inspect the brazier, you see that it has a crawl space concealed behind it. Drag the brazier while standing under it, under its weight until it is out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Go into the confined passages. Cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. In the head, you can see the exit. That was glass breaking. Did he get in? It sounded like it came from downstairs. I don't know. He did say he was going to find his way in. I don't think he found a way, I think he made a way. Is that the TV? What's that static sound? Yeah, that's the TV. Oh, that's that window. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up this window. There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. I can only hope but you don't, so if you break another game. window, we're screwed. <laughs> this is what you get for being cheap, Stacy. This is what happens. I need to buy more planks, but my budget! Your budget. I hope it was worth it. 
Bench for crawl space, land her chamber, small tables to your right. One of their tiny candles and what looked like bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entryway is wide open. Search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter that might be handy, so you decide to take it. Rope was added to room. Flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Chain links and iron cuffs hang from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming from the hole in the ground off to the left. Stop yawning today. Sloshing through the sewage, reach a corner, the path continues to your left. You enter a circular room, there is a stairway leading up, you spot a body floating in the sewage that is covered in black robes. It drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on you with its bright yellow eye. Caution. You push to roll it over. As you do it, it springs. It, as you do, it springs to life. The blood curdling shriek. Charged at you, slashing with claw like fingernails. You evade the initial strikes, but then you feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open. It serrates back. Scurries? Scurry. Like it runs. Oh, that's a C. I thought it was an O. It scurries back before vanishing up the steps. Mow up. Yeah, mow up. Mow up. Begin to ascend the stair. Is there a door back there? Or is that. That is know. something in my goddamn closet. That, that that's him. Now? That's him. Yeah, do we that's get up? shit. Oh. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes part one. I'm going to turn this into a two-part video as it was over an hour long. First part will be roughly around, well, 35 minutes as you guys just saw. So the next one won't be as long, maybe 20 minutes or so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed playing this demo. Um, and we'll see what happens as we conclude Chapter 1. So until the next episode, Wasteland Wanderers, stay safe out there and we'll see you. Peace.